trade and investment. We, we cannot exist uh, as an island uh, divorced from what's happening in the world. that we've got uh, uh, digital banks as well. Uh, equity, ECF has played a very important role uh, and as the former president of the Malaysian Business Angel Network, we have been advocating for angel investors as well to do more equity funding. And you've got venture capital and finally, if all of this works together, there's either an M&A, uh, an acquisition of the startup or um, a type. Datin Azalina presented the five-year roadmap of improving the capital access, capital market access of MSME. The uh, thrust number seven, which is boost readiness. Thrust number eight, uh, which is uh, 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 increasing referrals. And thrust number nine, which is increasing awareness uh, amongst uh, investors for our talents. Those are um, important thrusts to be presented in a five-year roadmap. But upon execution, people are dumbfounded on how are you going to execute this. Again, many will fail, but at the same time, if you do your best to identify the right founders, right, inshallah, the chances will be bigger. And as a nation, I think we can do so much more in terms of not just, I'm not talking about grants, in terms of um, the ecosystem, right, in helping these early, start found, early startup founders. And we need to be there to fight the Singaporeans, the Indonesians. We are slightly behind. When we talk to them, they are like, okay, okay, fine. So you're trying to find these SMEs that are doing good for the economy, you know, great. And then you have all these trackings that are not and measuring that. I agree. But then so we ask them, so then what is your hurdle rate, right? Since you are helping to do good. So yeah, hurdle rate, yeah, same last year. <laughs> you know, so, so at one point, uh, there's this part that they want to do good. But at the same point, time, they are also trying to, I mean, ultimately, they also need to make sure that they, they, they get the relevant financial return. So, to be very honest, we have not been able to lower the financing meaningfully for these kind of companies. And that is really because the sort of source of capital that we are getting are also not passing, are also not passing on. So
something that is actually very near and dear to my heart as well. Um, it's what we in Google believe is going to shape the next few years of future. It's going to shape the next few years of technology as well. And this is, you know, something that I truly believe will make technology accessible to the masses, make technology accessible to anyone.